Guess what I'm gonna do today? Huh, honey. But you're not gonna be home. What's up then? But you're getting your carb fill. You're you're good. I'm good. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna make French toast sticks. Fall inspired. I know. I'm calling out. I'm calling out. <laughs> I can't go. I can't make it. What are you making? Pumpkin bagels? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're doing it. Okay. I see you. You're doing a fat boy style. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. Anyway, I'm going to do that with the leftover pumpkin bread that we have. Pumpkin bread? Can you pull it out, actually? You hear what I said? Pumpkin bread. <laughs> That's the plan. Oh, we just got coffee. Yeah. We have to do a review. It's so, oh. it's so trendy. <laughs> it's so trendy. What is this? Topo Chico? To I think it's Topo, Topo Chico. Chico. Top to Topo Chico. Topo Chico. Okay. This is like the <sighs> best mineral water ever. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Actually, there's a drink <laughs> that I'm going to make. With coffee? It's not coffee, it's... I know, but you said we have coffee. No, we have coffee. I was going to have one. Oh. But, you don't know. But no, so there's a thing called ranch water. Ranch water? Like in ranch dressing? No. Oh. <laughs> it's it's early. So it's, it's <laughs> two parts, two parts Blanco tequila. Okay. One part lime juice. Okay. And then you float it with uh, Topo Chico water. Topo Chico all right i'm gonna do this i'm gonna take the rest of this bread from aldi and you liked it the problem was you said because i made him like avocado toast with it yeah. and he said the pairing of that was a little weird but yeah it's a, it's a sweeter bread it's not sweeter. a savory bread so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna chop these up into little sticks or you know medium size and we're gonna take the french toast recipe that i have Look at you. And uh, we're gonna air fry them in that. Yeah? I like everything I'm hearing. Apple cider fruit spread. Trader Joe's taste test. Ooh. Oh, it smells good. I mean, what's not to like? By the way, I did order another seal for my Instant Pot to test that out. The saga continues. We're going to see if it works. I'll test it out today. Um, maybe make some rice or something. I don't know. But look at you. You're just you're really committing. Me? Me? Oh, I take food serious. <laughs> no, no time to mess around. All right. Now, you have to test the first bagel because you don't want to ruin all your bagels if it's bad. <laughs> if it's bad. Oh, it's terrible. No one eat the bag. <laughs> oh, that's good. Let me take a little nib. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh. Mm. My God. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. That's good. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we slept in today. We watched the This is Paris uh documentary last night and we didn't quite finish it well nate fell asleep but i finished it it was good it's interesting i didn't fall asleep because it was boring either no. i thought we were stopping <laughs> i'll finish it with you you got like 30 minutes left was, or so i was dozing <laughs> yeah it was pretty good interesting I always find families like that that come from so much money and like just it's fascinating of what they do and don't do. <laughs> well, I always love it too because reality TV, mm -hmm. reality TV is, we knew she wasn't that. No. I mean, she, she, she's a person who has brands and this, that, the other thing. So she either was smart enough mm -hmm. to hire the right people to get to her do brand it. where uh -huh. it is, or she has some sort of smarts and she's playing her brand the right way and she's just managing it. So I like to see some of that real stuff because, yeah. you know, you can't just chalk it up to just she is that person. No. So I like seeing that side of stuff, especially when they do these documentaries. But it is funny how they made a big point on it, though, about like 
you know, when you really look at it, she was one of the very first to come out with a selfie, to yeah. come out with, you know, this influencer mentality. And it's like, you're welcome, yet I'm really sorry. <laughs> I love that quote. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. That she created so many monsters mm -hmm. along with what she, you know, that what it is too. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. That's good. I thought it was, um, I think what I saw is if you are part of YouTube, what's it called? YouTube Red? I think it's YouTube Red. Then you pay for that and I think you get like an extended version of what we watched. Oh, okay. Um, but the, it's free. It's like an hour and a half. Um, the free version is on her channel, like just Paris Hilton's channel. Mm -hmm. Um, but, yeah, so that's what we were watching. But anyway. Yeah. Interesting. Guess what? Mm. Literally our last vlog, which I posted Thursday, right? Because it was like a bonus. Yeah. And it had the like footage, if you will, of um, the skies and like the, the ash. Mm -hmm. Well, my friends, look at this. It's like yesterday it started. And today it's actually like blue skies. I don't know if it's perfect, but it is night and day from what it was. Um, we got a tiny bit of rain, not really here, but up in the hills a little yeah, bit. You got a little bit. Yeah. yeah, very little. I would hardly call it rain, but it was enough to just help. So I don't want to say we're out of the woods because that fire, I think, is still, you know, there's, there's it's, still it's still going, but like it's much much better than it was so that's exciting <laughs> our air quality our, our number for mm -hmm. air quality went from like i think it was four or five days ago it was like 400 yeah. or 300 something today is 52. oh uh, wow. yes we'll take all it. because of just the, the that little bit some humidity uh-huh kind of knocked everything out of the air i thought i'd show you guys though because mm -hmm. literally the last thing you saw was gray skies i should have showed where we were driving to get the coffee again like that comparison oh, down um the street, yeah. down the street you could actually see but uh mm -hmm. yeah anyway Mm -hmm. I would say back to normal, but what the hell is that? What is that? <laughs> I don't know her. <laughs> Hi, guys. So, okay, I'm going to do that French toast I was talking about. I'm so bloated. <laughs> That's really actually what's on my mind right now. I let you guys have it on Instagram yesterday if you follow me there. <laughs> Mate, I'm going to go get coffee. So do you want a donut? No, I don't. I just want the coffee. He comes back with just the coffee. You guys said it best. He's wrong. Clearly, he's wrong. <laughs> I'm telling you, my friends, uh, it's that time. And I am just <laughs> having one this time. You get it. You get it. Anyway, bear with me, though. But I am just so, like, these pants. Are you guys doing the same thing every two weeks? Put on your pants, make sure they fit. <sighs> Listen. I'm so bloated. I need to put on sweatpants and call it good. <laughs> oh, my girls understand. Anyway, let's do this French toast. I just I have this idea that this is going to work out perfectly. Okay, so again, that toaster oven that I have, technically it's an air fryer too. I have a love-hate relationship with that thing. I'll link it below. The thing is, I love it. It's awesome because it's literally a toaster oven slash air fryer. I just don't typically use it um, as my air fryer because I'm just so used to the other one that I have. Um, but it comes with this basket like to slide in there and this is what you use for like air frying stuff so that everything like gets through it and what have you, right? My hate with it is the, <laughs> and I told you guys this before, it seems no matter what I do, and we'll see what happens this time. I always burn myself on it, like always. And so I just don't go to it too much, but that's not true. We do a lot of like pizzas in it and stuff too. It's cool, but my friends actually ordered that exact one and we visited them a couple weeks ago and they use it for everything and love it. And it is awesome, I recommend it, but it's just my own <laughs> dumb. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, I'm taking that bread again, right? And oh, it smells so good. You guys look, look at it. Oh, and I'm gonna put it into sticks, probably because the bread's not huge. I mean, in comparison to my hand, it's like my palm. 
I'm gonna do like three strips per piece, I'm thinking. But it is kind of thick, so this is good. And then we're gonna coat it. And again, I have this recipe. I'm gonna kind of amend it a little bit uh, for the sake of this, since this is already so sweet. Um, I'll link it below, but it's for typically pairing up with a sourdough bread. And if you've never done French toast with sourdough bread, it's so good. I think it's because typically French toast is so like sweet, right? And because the batter of it is, and I feel like, yeah, let's do three. Um, I feel like it actually like pairs so well because it kind of offsets that sweetness. So this is going to be different. This is actually going to be sweet because the bread is sweet too, but I think it's going to be good. So something like that, right? And then the end of the bread too, you can't just, you know, go against that. That's good stuff. <laughs> All right, we'll start with that. But then let me make my little like batter. Let's see here. Oh God. <laughs> we'll get through it. <laughs> okay. I eyeball. I make measurements for you guys. I do. By the way, I got water on me. That's all that is. Uh, and I'm, I'm happy to do that. But th the truth is the way I cook is like this. It really is. Okay. We're going to use this up. This is actually oat milk. The recipe says soy milk. Use whatever you got. I'm going to put a little bit of salt. Um, the cinnamon. But what I do that maybe is a little bit like different from a traditional uh, French toast batter. Clearly, I don't use eggs, right? Which is typically in it. I'm going to put a little bit of vanilla extract. And I use this Bob's Red Mills egg replacer in it. I'm going to add it in just a second. But then what I do that's a little bit different too, and I did it on a whim one day. I'm like, let's just see what happens. And it's the only way I'll do it now because I love French toast. I just love it. But once I added coconut flour in the batter, it does not want to mix in very well. It's going to look wrong. <laughs> it is. It makes the best like crust on your toast. Oh, it's so good. So if you have it, use it. Um, I think my recipe too also says to do sugar in it, a little bit of like two, three tablespoons of sugar. I'm gonna do coconut sugar instead of just like cane sugar, just because that bread is already so sweet, you know? I don't wanna do too much. And then if you have it, again, if you don't, it's okay. Put a little bit of orange juice, just like brightens it up. And uh, let me whisk this. It's preheating. I'm gonna do it at 350, but still on the air fryer setting. Normally wants to preset to like 400, but I'm feeling like for this, it'll be better this way. I don't know, we'll see. And then normally what I do too, is I will coat, uh, after I dunk it in here, I'll coat each piece with like slivered almonds. Oh, that's delicious. And then throw it on your like grill pan and stuff. Uh, but I think again, because this is, has so much like seeds and stuff on it already, I don't think I'm gonna need to. Okay, a little bit of egg replacer. It's just gonna help everything coat to it, you know? It's fine. <laughs> Real life. <laughs> I'm excited for Nate to be off tomorrow when you guys are seeing this because, which is normal. He's usually off on Sunday, Mondays, but this week was particularly long, I feel like, because he had a lot going on at work that he had to do. And so he's just pretty tired and I, he was working like super long days. And so I just feel like I really haven't seen him much at all. Okay, so then you got your batter, right? Looking normal. And then we're gonna put this coconut flour. And it's not gonna wanna like blend in that well because it's flour. <laughs> That's so good, it is. Yeah, it's like it wants to even like come to the top a little bit. But just, you know, I think those chunks actually just turn out to be much better in it. Could even do like pumpkin pie spice in here. Do whatever you want, you know? And I think ideally too, in general with French toast, you ideally would like more of a stale bread. And this one kind of is now since it's like a full week old. We'll dunk it like that. Oh yes, oh yes. And I just have a paper towel I'll show you here real quick. Oh, like that. And I'm gonna line these up 
It's just underneath there, so it doesn't make a complete mess, but whatever. Oh, this is gonna be good. And uh, I can then just like pre-make all this. I've done this with French toast in general, and then you freeze it, and then you can just reheat them as needed. So it's kind of a cool like meal prep thing too. I mean, you could totally buy frozen French toast sticks, right? So it's kind of the same theory, you know? I've never air fried it though, <laughs> but I, I mean, I can't see where this will go wrong. You know what, when this is cooking, let's test out the air, or the, um, the instant pot and see if that fixes. A lot of you suggested to get a new seal, even though mine looked like pretty normal or not worn down and stuff, but you know, uh, I'm willing to try it, but I got it on Amazon, just the seal for like $9. So, I mean, it's definitely cheaper than buying a brand new Instant Pot, right? <laughs> Worth the shot. And again, just as a reminder, like it was, it was still working if I used the other presetting buttons. It was just not working when I was trying to do manual pressure. No clue, but a lot of you have said that this has happened to you too. Some of you had said that like yours does that sometimes and then it will work again just randomly. And like, I don't know, it sounds kind of more common than I thought. Okay, we'll start with that for the first batch. And I'm gonna put it in there and well, I'm just gonna keep an eye on it and I'll let you know how long we go for. But yeah, ooh, look at that. Heck yeah, let's do it. Okay, um, let me go grab it. I will show you this first because I'm kind of hoping maybe this will make a difference in itself and that is the answer. So this is literally off right now. It's plugged in, but off. But I will say, like, it's super loose. Like, it really is loose on here. So, but again, it doesn't look bad. But I'm going to pull that seal off and put the other one on. And we'll see what happens if it feels a little tighter just with that in general. But sometimes it is kind of loose on there. But as soon as you like set it to come to pressure, you know, it, it does what it needs to do and it tightens it. I don't know. So I don't know. We'll see. All right. New ones on there. Let's just see how it feels just like this. Maybe a little bit. Maybe. Okay. Let's hope. All right. So. I'm gonna just do some rice in here. All right, I got two cups of rice, two cups of water. I put it to manual pressure at five minutes. Again, it acts like it's going to work. That was normal. So it's still doing that. And I'm gonna check with you. I'm gonna let it go for five minutes and then let it sit for 10, naturally release if it did it. <laughs> and then I'll let you know. I don't wanna jinx it yet, guys, but I think it might've worked because normally, again, when it would turn off, cause right now it just did, so it's going to like the keep warm setting essentially. And again, I'm gonna let it sit for like 10 minutes though, um, cause that's part of actually the cook process of rice. But I was normally able to just open this right up and I can't, that's good. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, checking in on this. All I did, it's been about 10, 12 minutes. I think it's about there actually. And I pulled this out and just reversed it. So the back is now the front and the front is now the back, just so it could be a little more even maybe. Okay, it looks good, looks good. Okay, I think it's done. So I'm gonna pull that out. I'm gonna leave it on because I'm gonna make another batch. Oh, see, let's see if I burn myself. <laughs> okay. Give that a whirl. We'll see what happens. But I mean, to be fair, you got to put powdered sugar on it and syrup. Am I right? I'm looking a mess. I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Let's get my these. Okay. Oh, girl. Well, I mean, I haven't had lunch yet, so like. Let's just. Let's make it photo op uh, presentable here and then uh, eat it. Let's do. I'm excited for the, air f or the, the uh, Instant Pot. We'll see. Just putting a little bit of the sugar. Cause you know. And by a little, I mean a lot. I'm gonna put a little bit of syrup. Look at that. All right, taste test. Mm. 
you guys, it's perfect. It literally tastes like French toast, but with pumpkin success. Mm-hmm. Gotta try it. Let's keep making them. I'll check in with the rice. All right, I want you to experience it firsthand with me. <laughs> oh man, okay, so we got one more minute, one more. It's still tight, that is good. I'm hopeful, my friends. Okay, so we're gonna officially turn it off now. It's been 10 minutes. Come over here. That's a good sign. That is really good. Well, I hope that was the answer. I think it's gonna be just fine. So I guess get a replacement seal. I'll link them below just where I, again, I got them. You can buy them in like two packs. I didn't even do that though. Cause I was like, well, if this doesn't even work, I don't need to. <laughs> so, all right, let's see. Looks good. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yep, looks good to me. All right, well, I think we got our Instant Pot back, my friends. So, more recipes to come, right? <laughs> That's all that means. Right on, I'm gonna let that sit in there for a little bit cause it'll be fine. But I think we solved the issue. <laughs> anyway, got this next batch in here to finish it up. Again, I think I said, what, 10 minutes and then flip it and let it go for maybe like another seven or eight minutes. But again, I'm just gonna literally put them in here and then you can freeze them. Boom. I hope you guys caught Thursday's vlog. It was like a bonus one, like I was saying, and I showed the sofritos recipe for you guys, and so many of you have tried it and love it too. It's awesome, and it's a great, great meal prep too, so check that out if you missed it. But uh, yeah, I think that'll do it. I hope you guys are having a great, great day. Enjoy your weekend, the rest of it, and we'll see what the next week brings. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Just